I've been thinking about this for for some time, for a while, um, and originally I I was planning a uh, interview with um, Randy Kramer, and then uh, later it turned out I couldn't get in touch with Randy Kramer. So then I I was looking for another uh, secret space program whistleblower dude, and uh, there was this other dude by the name of um, of uh, uh, should forget his name now. Um, the other, the other guy, kind of like Randy Kramer, but the difference was this guy was was like more of a taken against his will, like later in his life, whereas Randy Kramer was like genetically en genetically engineered uh, super soldier, you know, engineered from the ground from the ground up, you know. So, but you know, I wrote a whole a whole list of questions which I felt you know people um, were almost it almost seemed seemed like they were avoiding because they weren't you know they they didn't really um, think about it uh, enough uh, you know like questions like uh, related to culture lifestyle within the secret space program uh, religion I mean a lot a lot of very important like um, in betweeners you know what I mean which I, f I felt, you know, all this stuff is so important. You know, people should be asking, you know, this, these questions to these people that claim to be these uh, super soldier whistleblower dudes. So, but you know, I just realized that the most the, key, the most important question that people should be asking Randy Kramer that no one has ever asked him, no one, guarantee it. Um, Okay, it, it goes like this, you know. Uh, okay, so, so Randy, you know, you've um, apparently uh, had relations with other extraterrestrials. You've you have some idea of the um, uh, you know the different the diversities of different civilizations and how they've you know how the, how they have evolved and how they've gone from um, you know I don't know the Stone Age to the Iron Age to the Electrical age and finally to the space age and to the intergalactic age. You okay? You've got some idea, you know, very uh, further ahead than most of the rest of us would even be able to conceptualize. So, okay, so Randy, could you please tell us um, what is it? How does this typically happen in in the in the universe on other planets? Like when a society gets to our point, um, you know, like what is the, how how do you typically in, in a situation like we are in now, okay, where, whereby the whole most of the, most people on Earth they have absolutely no idea what the hell's going on out there. They purely, you know, we we purely just um, take take for granted what it's how things uh, you know seem to be without asking you know questions, um, you know, without taking stuff like the Disclosure Project CE five. You know, without taking those kind of things seriously, just brushing it off and saying, ah, you know. So in this type of situation, you know, how does it normally unfold? Surely you must have seen some kind of situation that resembles what the Earth is, the transitionary period that the Earth is going through now. Have you seen something like this in any other civilizations out there? And how did it, how did it play out? And what are some of the strategies that might be... Um, used to get a civilization through this period and to uh, to uh, to open them up to the rest of the, uh, the galaxy and the universe how does you know what are some strategies that might be used is this false flag alien invasion um, thing is this something that is is this narrative is this something that is that has been used before and have you ever seen have you ever heard of that scene that you know what are, what is the what are the implications behind those things. Could you please expand on this, please? That right there is 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 um, is the most important thing that people should ask Randy Kramer. So, you know, I'm glad I finally realized that. You know, as I say, I made a, I made a huge. Uh, I posted it on the group here in uh, in uh, Countdown to Disclosure. I think I posted a list of ten very important questions that I th that I. Th that it seemed like people were just almost intentionally avoiding and just asking him the same old crap, you know, over and over again, rather than going into detail. Um, but you know, that came from a much that came from a whole script that I actually wrote to um, to uh, interview 
uh, originally Randy Kramer and then later um, this, this, the, uh, you know, the other guy. Um, yeah, so as I say, you know, I'm glad I finally uh, realized that, that, that that is the most uh, important uh, you know, question that people should be bringing up with these uh, super soldier, you know, these supposed um, secret space program whistleblower people, you know.